What a month. January 2016. We've seen a huge increase in the price of Ether, as you can see on this graph. I mean, if you look at it, it's almost ridiculous. So that's in US dollars, about 85 cents in the end of December. And as of today, <laughs> it's past $2. It's one of the most bullish graphs I've ever seen in my life. The last video was on December 18th, where I detailed what the opportunities and risks are, weaknesses from Ethereum were, and whether it was a good idea for you to invest in the space, the currency, and get to know the, the platform. And since then, this happened. To be honest, I don't quite understand what happened in, in all details because so many things just came at the same time. So on one side, let's just go to the numbers. We see something that we've never ever seen before, a trading volume of more than $10 million. Uh, just to give you an idea, uh, the average was around 300 thousand dollar million uh, dollars in a in a day and that's about basically 30 times as much now that that is really something that we never seen before so what are the reasons for this huge increase and if i could only see if i can only give you two then i would just say what happened with bitcoin and r3 so I'll try to keep that video very short. So about Bitcoin, what happened? On December 2015, I, I also I told you about some of the risks that Bitcoin was actually going for. And what happened on January the 11th is that some of the community tried to switch to Bitcoin XT, which is a modified version of Bitcoin Core, where the, the idea is to, to change the block size. And it was something I, I talked in more detail in my previous videos. And there was a very heated debate on this question, whether they should do it or not. And the core developers really refused um, to fork the code and, and they weren't the only one. And it's, it's a very complex debate that I don't have time to go into, but there was also the question of the miners, especially the Chinese miners who resisted this change. Uh, whether it was a good thing or not is not, it's kind of out of scope for this video, but it ha this had actually a huge impact because if you actually see the graph, I mean, you see, you see an increase, which is already quite dramatic. I mean, if you just, uh, if, if you take that into account, this, this looks like pretty flat, but it really isn't. It's still pretty, pretty steep. But here we go, January 11th, and then just starts. Look at that. That is, that is really, really, that is insane. And that's today. So read two events, January 11th, Bitcoin XT kind of failed. Um, most miners refused to actually switch to, to Bitcoin XT. So the fork that was supposed to happen didn't happen and some major contributors and some Bitcoiners uh, thought it meant that Bitcoin wasn't for them anymore, I guess. 
And one very dramatic and, and profound article uh, has been written by Mike Earn, uh, who lives in, in Zurich. He's a, he was a developer for uh, Bitcoin Core for quite a few years. And, and, and he wrote a very profound and, and, and quite, quite dramatic article about that. Uh, about what what happened and why he leaves Bitcoin, and I will put put the link be- below, and so you can read it. Uh, that's just his opinion. Uh, I don't endorse anything he says, but I think it's interesting to actually see that view, where most of the points that I made in my previous videos are re- really written uh, black on white, and 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 he's really he's maybe a bit biased about that. <laughs> to say the least, but he's really, really, he made very strong arguments about about Bitcoins and, and, and why some of the change that, would, that should have happened didn't, and basically he left Bitcoin. And the irony of this is that later we heard about, maybe it was on the 20th, we heard that around that time, um, we heard that R3 consortium was actually going to use Ethereum as a platform. So R3 is a consortium of many major banks, Credit Suisse, UBS, Goldman Sachs, and many others, that try to use blockchain technology to improve efficiency, potentially for issuing bonds and and sharing some kind of ledger. There are many ways they can use blockchain technology. How they're going to do it exactly and how it's going to be implemented is not clear yet, but there's definitely a huge interest from in coming from them. And what you've seen here just doesn't look real. That, 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 that is a, a, an increase that can probably only come if some major actors come into the market. Because if when we were here, the market cap was already around... 120, 130 million dollars, and here it, it's it passed. It, it's now at about at about 150 million dollars. So that amount of money can only be injected by by some very huge actors. It, it cannot just be a, a huge difference in supply and demand. I, I I would suppose. So is it a bubble? Is it gonna burst? Um, eventually I guess but it, the thing is when it bursts it will probably never go as low or probably not go as low as it 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 came from basically I mean what you see here is really ridiculously bullish I I have very few words to actually explain what happened except those two key events there are actually many others but I think those are those are the most important and just looking around and also just from the, the feedback I get on my videos, from looking at Reddit and all the social medias, I see a huge interest coming from Bitcoiners, mostly, who are getting curious about Ethereum. Some of them never heard about it and just did hear, did, did, did hear about it since, uh, I guess, that failed fork uh, on, on Bitcoin. And um, for some others, I guess they come from a more, they, they probably come from institutions, banks, or around that space, and they are, they are quite different. They are quite different kind of people, I, I would assume. So it's, 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 really, it's really exciting. It's, it's, I really didn't expect it to go that, that high so fast. I mean, I was definitely bullish on the long term, but I never expected this. So, I mean, you can look back at my previous videos to see what I was thinking at the time and see if I was right or not. It's up to you to judge. Anyway, I'll keep it short and I just wanted to kind of just put it out there. Um, I don't have very much time now, so I cannot do a very detailed analysis like I did in my previous videos. But I just wanted to make it clear because I, I assume it's pretty confusing for many people and it really was for me as well when 
it, it happened. I was extremely busy and I couldn't follow what was happening in the, in the, big, in the Bitcoin space. And what happened really blew my mind. So also just a few information, a few key points. Uh, so something that's quite interesting to know is that the network difficulty increased to 10 terahashes. Um, so it's it's a 20, 30 per, uh, percent increase in the hash rate. That basically means that there are 20 to 30 percent more uh, computing power on the network. So it means a lot of new people are probably coming and mining, which also shows a very solid interest in the currency and, and also makes sense since it's actually more valuable. And um, something that I was also quite interested in is that the the Ethereum check, uh, stack exchange is now in beta and you can actually go there and learn about Ethereum and I think it's a very it's a very good way to learn about something. So you can ask your questions there, uh, ask for an invite to actually maybe, or maybe you can just, if you don't have, if you cannot go in, you can just ask me for an invite, I'll give you one, but I believe you can just subscribe, just make an account and go there and you will learn a lot. So if you're curious about Ethereum, you want to understand more, uh, check my other videos, uh, go on Reddit, uh, read the white paper, uh, I'll post all, all of those links below. And there are also quite a few videos that you can watch. Uh, there are some cool podcasts, I will also give the links. And definitely Stack Exchange, where you learn a lot. So I'll keep it short. Um, I, I'm glad this happened like this. Uh, I won't make any prediction because I really don't know. I'll just be honest, I, I don't know. What I see is that the, there seems to be a very, very strong support. Uh, at, at some point during that day, it actually just went down to 150 or like $116. And a few minutes after that, it was already back at almost two. So the the, the support level is extremely strong. So. I don't think it's it's unreasonable to think that it could even go higher, if not much higher. The question is, when is it going to stabilize? And I'll be honest, I have no idea. So that's all I can say for now. Um, I, I suggest you do your reading and also don't try to beat the market. I think that's maybe the the, the best advice I can I can give anyone. and that I also give myself. Don't try to beat the market. Look on the longer term. Think about what it's gonna be in three, six months, 12 months or even longer. That's the only way you can beat the market. If you just buy and sell, I mean, you can speculate that that's fine. If you have very good trading and a lot of time to spend, you might win more than, you might beat the market. That means make more than the market, but. Uh, if you don't have much time, I suggest you don't do that and you just try to invest on longer term and keep your emotion in check and actually write down what you want to do. What is my plan? Do I want to buy that? Do I want to sell that? Is it something that's for me or not? Once you make your decision, write it down and keep to it. Even maybe have someone check it on you so, like, so, that, so that you couldn't do anything. Maybe you can just put it somewhere and you would need to ask a friend to move your money or it's up to you to decide what you want to do with it but if i have one advice to give you to give you i think it will be that one all right so thank you for watching and see you very soon check the description box below i'll give you some links enjoy